Hey guys, it's Denali. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another huge Mungus haul. I actually picked up from the outlet on two recent trips. I got 120 pounds on the first trip and then coincidentally I got about 35 pounds on the second one. So we're at over 150 pound haul. I'm gonna be honest, if you, you saw my last one, I didn't have the stamina to make it through all the way. I got really tired. So let's see how far we can get in this haul and show you all the really amazing and fun stuff that I got. Let's just jump right in. I've got a huge pile of clothes next to me. This is enormous. I'm not in my warehouse like I usually am. Today I am filming from home. So yeah. Okay. The first brand, I actually don't know what this is. And let me know if you know what it is. Black bead. It feels familiar. I don't think it's probably much of anything, but I think it's a skirt. It's just this ribbed lime green skirt. I thought it was cute. It felt a little bit Y2K. So that's part of the reason why I grabbed it. I'm like, where do I throw stuff? I don't know. <laughs> the next item I have for you is a Vince men's shirt. This is size double XL. It's dusty and I washed this stuff. I'm pretty sure this is a men's, the buttons. I know it's always the buttons. Okay, so anyways, it's linen. That's all I have to say on it. It's this really pretty brown coloring. I may send this one to The Real Real. So I do send a lot of items there for consignment and they accept a variety of different brands. Some of those brands might not actually be listed on their accepted designer list. However, when you sign up to consign on there, they actually give you a representative to work with. So I recommend reaching out to your representative so that you can find out if you can send brands in that are not on the list. Okay, next item. I think this is a vintage piece, but I just liked the look of this. Anyways, the brand is called Indira. That's what the tag looks like. And it's 100% rayon skirt with this elastic waist. It's floral. It just kind of gave me some uh, 90s aesthetic to it. And it is a maxi. We'll definitely sell that. I'm not sending that off for consignment anywhere. This is a, I think Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette 148 cardigan. It's just an open front cardigan. I believe it's wool size large. I may just send this to the real real again because they take it and it's one less thing that I have to list. Okay, next item, it's inside out, but you guys are gonna get the gist of it. It's Everlane, which I love finding this brand. I think it's a really solid brand with good resale. This is, what material are you? Well, it's a wool blend. I knew it probably was. But anyways, I washed it. It's kind of a little hairy. So we'll have to lint roll this before we get this listed. But I'll definitely sell that myself. Okay, my piles are now totally shot. Okay, next piece is... Okay, so I hit this patch of this lady's person's items. I could tell it was all in one bin and nobody wanted it. And it was predominantly... I would say mature brands. A lot of it was linen. I'm actually looking at the pile, it's over there. I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way through <laughs> to get to that pile today, but it is insane. There was probably like 20 pieces, maybe an exaggeration, I'm not sure, of CP shades alone. So I have a stack of linen sitting over there that is perfect for summer, so excited about it. But anyways, this brand was in there and it's Calvin Klein co uh, Collection. It's a 100% cashmere sweater. And I know that this is an older piece, but I actually still thought it was really nice with the exception of there's a hole, but um, it's cashmere. It's still a really great fabric. And I think that we can find a buyer for this piece. I'm not sure what size it is. It looks like it's probably like a medium or large if I had to guess, but that is really weird. Where's the tag? Throw that in my, we will keep it in listed pile. Next item for you is a Theory sweater. And that's what the tag looks like. So this is newer tag theory. You can spot the older ones because the spacing of the letters is a little bit further apart. This is a size medium. And I am gonna actually take my sweater comb to this and just kind of take this pilling lintiness that's kind of happened through the years to the sweater through wear. I'll link it down below the little comb. If you've seen any of my recent hauls, I've mentioned it before. I love it. It's a, there's two different sizes that I use. Uh, but I do think that those will help revive it. And then I may actually just send this into the real real and have them sell it. The next item I have is this lovers and friends denim and they do have the knees blown out, which I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have purchased them for that reason, but yeah, they're kind of a jogger style. I don't know, maybe not my best purchase, but I grabbed them, so here we are. Okay, this I'll probably put into one of my bins boxes. And oftentimes I like to pick up new tags items from the bins just because I don't like to see them 
left behind. And then also I've just been grabbing pieces now to make boxes and then offer them to anybody who's watching if you want to buy a box. Not everybody has access to inventory or can leave the home to source inventory. So anyways, I don't always know how many boxes I'll have available by the end of the video. And I do them as five pound boxes. So it's just by weight. But anyways, this is just the brand Dip. It's a size extra large top. It's actually really cute. Now I'm like, mm, maybe I should keep it for me. So this will go in a bins box. Oh, we'll throw that over there. Okay, this is, I think it's inside out, but I think it's the brand Knitted and Knotted, which is sold at Anthropology. And this is what, that's what the tag looks like, guys. It's just a little piece of hardware, but it's this really pretty knit sweater with a little bit of a slit here and then fringe at the bottom. And it's a size medium. We will sell that. And next up, I have the brand Max Mara. And this is just a linen open front piece, I think. I don't think it buttons. Actually, this kind of looks like raw silk also. I'm not sure. It's a, oh no, it says Piro Lino, which I'm sure is in Italian. Not sure what size it is, but I will probably also send this to The Real Real because it's a brand that they accept. This piece I love, it is the brand American Girl, and there it is. So earlier in the year, I picked up a piece and it had the Pleasant Company on there, which is what American Girl was before it changed its name. So anyways, this is an actual American Girl piece and it's a size medium and it's just this really fun, colorful fringe, open front cardigan. We'll definitely sell that. Uh, this piece, I'm gonna put a little bit too much elbow grease into it, more than it probably warrants, but it is this North Face one piece. <laughs> but it's it's kind of matted but the little comb that I was talking about which I don't have one here at home otherwise I would show you I'm just gonna brush it along here and it does a really good job of reviving this teddy bear fleece so anyways it's just this cute little kids what do you call it one piece next I have this eye magnin dress uh and the brand is moi moika shell and <laughs> that's what the tag looks like dun, 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 dun. so it's just this cute vintage pink dress and it's got pockets. Again, I kind of think this this is linen, but I'm not sure. It's just really pretty and it's actually in really great condition given the age, so excited to list that. Next we have, oh, was there two of these? So this is a brand I hadn't heard of and the comps looked good. So here it is, it's called Philippe Adec Paris and these were purchased from Bergdorf Goodman, which is a department store. Obviously these are vintage. They're size 42, which is probably Paris sizing or France sizing, excuse me. And it's made in the USA. But anyway, it's just two skirts. I think they're skirts. No, they're, they're shorts. So I've got a white pair and a beige pair. I don't know if the real real would accept those. So I may be selling those myself. All right, what do I have next here? This is a Victoria's Secret robe. It's a size extra small and it's just satin. I'm pretty sure the tag looks like. It's in pretty good condition. Oh, okay. There's a couple of little snags here, but actually we can probably just snip those. Yeah, we'll just snip those too. So, you know, when I can find a robe with a belt, which is sometimes rare, I'll pick it up. Uh, yeah, just a North Face hat. This is random. <laughs> it made its way in there. <laughs> okay, this is a pair of Patagonia shorts. And these actually look really old. <laughs> like, that tag just looks older. Yeah, I almost want to be like, these don't look authentic. But I think they're just an older style. And they're size 10. I'm guessing they're children's kids. Toss that down there. Uh, this is so fun. It's a Walt Disney World t-shirt, but I do think that this is just something that somebody maybe made themselves or purchased on Etsy or something like that. It's a size extra large, but it's real cute. So I don't mind listing it. It says 50th anniversary on there, which would have then been, cause it said 1971, so 2021. So it's from last year. What else is in here? <laughs> This is like also a laundry pile. So I'm like, mm, I hope there's nothing in here. <laughs> That's not supposed to be. Okay, so this is just a fun sweatshirt that I grabbed. It says basketball is my favorite season. I don't know. I'm guessing this is probably like a men's large maybe, or it's possibly a women's. But if you're ever interested in any of the pieces that I'm selling, fun t-shirts that I have, feel free to reach out to me. My email is in the description down below. 
Okay, speaking of robes, this is a Pottery Barn robe. There's the tag. I've actually sold these Pottery Barn robes before. Uh, yeah, I do have the belt. Again, things that are sometimes rare. But I feel like when I've sold this one in the past, it didn't have sizing, which was kind of annoying. And, oh, this one does, it's a medium. So anyways, it does feel like Barefoot Dreams. That's actually initially why I grabbed it, because I was like, sweet, a Barefoot Dreams robe. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's Pottery Barn, which I feel like is equally as nice, if not better. Okay, next. Okay, that's not in the right pile. <laughs> this, okay, that's not in the right pile. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, this is a vintage nightgown that I picked up. I just thought this was really pretty. So first, just take a look at it. Let's just enjoy how beautiful it is together. But then actually, I feel like the, this one actually was a good brand. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a different one that I had. There was one that was actually a really good pickup. Maybe it's not this one, guys, sorry. This one is just really beautiful. So. Here it is again. I'm not sure on the sizing of this, but we will come up with a number after we take the measurements and everything like that. Okay, and you know, where do I list my vintage? I put it everywhere. So eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, wherever it can go, I will list it on there. All right, next piece is this helmet laying t-shirt. It's a size medium. Well, it's long sleeve tee, but there it is. Super cute feels like a jersey material. Again, this is a piece that I can probably send to the real real, so I might just do that. Okay, what is this? What is this and what is this? I don't think that's supposed to be there, but this one is. Okay, so this again is just another, I don't know if this is vintage, it's just casual corner and company. I just thought this dress was really cute. It's a size 10 and it buttons down the front here. And I actually think there's one button missing but we can just sew one in. I don't think that's a big deal, but it's just this really pretty sleeveless maxi dress. So yeah, <laughs> nothing special about it. It's just casual corner. Okay, next piece I have is this Eileen Fisher sweater, and it's kind of this oatmeal knit coloring. It's a size extra, extra small. It kind of looks bigger for an extra, extra small, but you know, Eileen's just a solid pickup, you know, bread and butter. Wilfred Free sweater, super cute waffle knit for a sweater. This is a size medium. Oh, interesting, it says yarn made in Italy. There you go. Okay, next is, okay, I've never picked up this brand before, but the comps were kind of interesting. So it says twin set by Simona Barbieri. Not sure how you say that, um, but it's kind of cool. It's like a sweater dress. I'm not sure. I think I'm probably just gonna send this to the real real. It is something that they accept. And so because of that, there's so much dust. Uh, yeah, we'll make my life a little bit easier. These are a pair of REI, I think they're women's, size 10 UPF 50 plus outdoor pants. And they're in really nice condition. I'm like, I say that and I'm like, yes. And they zip and all sorts of fun stuff that you want in an outdoorsy pant. I live in an area where outdoorsy clothing is quite common. So when I can grab it, I do because it's plentiful here. Okay, next item is, I almost didn't grab this, but then I was like, oh wait, it says Bowden on there. So it's a Bowden jacket and it's a size small. I'm not sure if it's a women's or a men's, it's really nice and it's pretty heavy duty. And it does have this cool hood that actually does zip into the collar. So yeah, I really enjoy selling Bowden pieces because I always mention it. They put the style number on the tag here. So this one's like ME080. So that makes it really easy for just looking up quickly. Is this a men's piece, women's piece, so on and so forth. Okay, next item I have is, these are a pair of Nike leggings and these are a size small and they're dry fit. Maybe I'll put this in my bins box. So nice pair of athletic leggings. We'll throw those in there. Okay, next is, okay, is that, <laughs> this is free people, right guys? Now I'm just starting to doubt myself. P plus S, 
Mm, I'm not sure. Is that free people, you guys? Love it if you would chime in. It's just this, um, I don't know what you call it, long sleeve tee. <laughs> Henley, is it a Henley? So I think I looked, yeah, and the tag in here says 66170, which is Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, and also free people. So I thought that was free people, but you guys let me know. This was fun. It has no tags, no markings, no nothing, but I just thought it looked really cool. And it's this little kid's bunny sweater, <laughs> but look how fun that is. And it's kind of nice and warm in there. I couldn't find anything on Google Lens, so I don't know if it's anything and it's probably not, but that's okay. It's a size 12 in here. So we'll just list it as a kid's size 12 unbranded sweater. Okay. Next piece I have to show you. This look like it's new without tags, so that's probably how we'll list it. It's a Calvin Klein, it's a CK1 slim fit jacket. But look at this, it's in absolutely mint condition. Looks great. Yeah, it's almost like a shirt jacket. So that's cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, there's some more new with tag items. These are a pair of polo Ralph Lauren men's pants. They're new with tags. $98 and they're at $36.32. Sure, why not? Yeah, we can sell those. This is, oh, I think this is an ASOS top. Yeah, it's ASOS. It's a size six and it's like a one shoulder top. I thought this was really cute and I think it's new without tags, but obviously I don't have the tag to show you, but I'll put this in the bins box also. That's a great item for spring. This I think I'll throw into the bins box also. This is a New Day, which is sold at Target, just a ribbed knit tank. Hmm, it's my size. Like, maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> okay, this is the brand French Laundry, and looks like this was purchased from Marshalls, originally $22, now $14.99, um, but you could easily take off that Marshalls tag. <laughs> Anyways, these are a pair of striped pants with the elastic waistband here. These are size medium. This will also go in the bins box. This is so cute. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like it's, yeah, ASOS. Here we go. It's a size eight, super fun spring dress. I kind of want to list this in my store. So I think I'm going to keep this one. This is so cute. I like that. Um, we also have, I think this is another ASOS piece. Here we go. And it's this white crochet jumpsuit. Look at that with the legs, full pant leg, goes all the way down to the bottom. Really nice. All right, next I have the brand Rock Mount Ranch Wear, and it's from Denver, Colorado. I think this is a vintage piece, but I'm not sure. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what the material is, but it's just this polka dot button down shirt. It's, you know, the condition is fair. It's not the best. There's a little bit of tearing in the armpit here. So I don't know if this is vintage, but I just thought it was really cool guys. So that's why I grabbed it. I'm trying to find a care tag, but I can't find a care tag <laughs> for the life of me. But anyways, here's that. Um, I'm gonna pull my hair back because my ring light is really warm and I progressively just get warmer and warmer as I film. Okay, next item is this Vera, Vero Moda sweater. This is really cute. I feel like I get this brand sometimes in liquidation, but I think it's a nice brand. I don't know, what do you know about it? This one, okay, this is interesting, guys. This is a Lula Row sports bra. I did not know that they made activewear, but this is what it looks like. It's Rise by Lula Row. It's a size small bra, and I it kind of looks like nobody really ever wore it, if I had to make guesses. This is, Oh, for a friend. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw my friend's stuff in a pile. We'll set that over there. Okay, next we have, oh, this is a Boss, Hugo Boss shirt. And again, this is new with tags. I was shocked. Originally, I'm not sure how much, but this stuff's expensive. Hugo Boss doesn't sell for cheap. I think it's under this tag, but I can't see. I would love to send this to the real real, but they don't really like taking my Hugo Boss when I send it to them. So it's a bummer. All right, next is, I think these are Target. It's just Wild Fable, some leggings. I'll throw this in a bins box also. Hey, maybe I'll have enough to do a couple. 
This is just really fun. Uh, this is a vintage, I hate even saying that, but it's an older Frenchie tag, which this brand, I've known it to sell at Nordstrom. It's a size medium, it's 100% leather, but I keep seeing all these influencers wearing these uh, leather jackets that have a cinched waist and yeah, sometimes a button here. This one does have some something here, but I think with just like a leather wipe, it will come out pretty nicely. So I don't know, have you seen influencers that you follow wearing leather blazers or jackets? I have. This will also go in a bins box. These are a pair of Old Navy shorts, size large. Yeah, we'll throw those over there. Okay, one bag down, <laughs> which is exciting, and a lot more to go. Okay, these are inside out, but they are a pair of Fabletics leggings. And if I can find them with some information on them, that's awesome. So these are the power hold and they're size extra small, which is great. Maybe I could put these in a bins box. Let me see what they look like on the outside. Um, They've got the fun little pocket on the inside waistband here, which is nice. And I love this color. It's still a really rich red given that it's a pre-owned item. It's not too bad. I was just looking for like pilling at the crotch or the bottom because that's generally where it can happen. So yeah, maybe we'll throw that in the bins box. This brand I've never found before. I like selling bras and pieces like that, <laughs> intimate wares. This is the brand NYX. Their bras are pretty expensive, generally about mm, 50 to $70 and up. Uh, this is a size seven plus, so their size, sizing is done by the group cup sizes together. And so it might be like four different cup sizes they will put as a seven. So I'm wondering if I'm, <laughs> I'm not looking at their bras. Hmm, I wonder if you're my size. Anyways, so yeah, I don't know what resale on this brand looks like, but I have to imagine it's pretty good because the pieces actually sell for quite a bit of, of money. They're also known for um, having wireless bras. I don't think any of their bras have wires in them. So just a little pro tip there. Okay, dipping out of frame for just a second so I can pull over my next big bin of stuff. I have no idea what this is. Something cute, whatever it is. Uh, this is the brand Omnia. I'm not sure why I grabbed this, guys, other than it looked cool. It says the size is CH. <laughs> I'm gonna make that be a small. So there's that. I don't know. I hope this was in this lot. <laughs> I don't, hopefully I'm grabbing from the right pile. Okay, this is a Bailey 44 dress. I get so worried about like that I'm mixing stuff up because I never want to show you guys stuff that I've already shown you. Ooh, awkward. Okay, this is a, I think this is Garnet Hill dress. Yes, this is a Garnet Hill dress. It's a size 12. It might be silk, I'm not sure. I did clean it and it cleaned up pretty nicely, which I was excited about. Garnet Hill is a catalog brand um, and those catalog, you know, some catalog brands do have good followings. No, it's just viscose and polyester. But anyways, some catalog brands have good followings. People are looking for certain pieces that they may have seen. This again was from that big pile of linen that I got from that one person. This is DKNY jeans, so it's just a vintage. Uh, cardigan sweater. It's 100% cotton made in the USA and it's just in really nice condition. I just couldn't leave it behind. Like a nice vintage cardigan sweater. Yeah. Okay. Next, I think this is Madewell. Yeah. Madewell sweater. Size small. Nothing crazy special. Just cute. We will sell that as opposed to sending it off somewhere. Okay. Next, I have a Marc Jacobs skirt. So it's Marc Jacobs, not Marc by Marc Jacobs, which is kind of exciting. This is size six and it's silk. So take a look at it. It's real cute. There was some discoloration on the skirt and I actually <laughs> sprayed it with some of that grandma stain remover. And then I let it sit for a few days and there was like this gnarly circle that was on there. And I was like, wow, I just totally messed that up but it's cleaned up really nicely. It's not a problem anymore. So again, I may send that to the real, real is my thought. That's what my thought is right now. <laughs> okay, this dress is a, nothing. <laughs> Look at this brand, it says like fool. Other than it appears to be vintage, it's a size small, it's 100% rayon, but I just thought it was so 
fun. It's actually not even a full dress. It's more of just like a top, but again, kind of thinking about Y2K and what's popular, um, it spoke to me in that way. So I grabbed it. This is a Wilfred, I think dress or tank and Wilfred is sold at Aritzia. Again, I think this is silk and it's kind of like an animal print. Not sure. I don't know if that's a dress, but it's a real short dress. Then again, I technically think that the definition for a mini dress is 32 inches. So food for thought there. This is a blanket or a scarf, not sure which, but it's by the brand Lilith. And I had, I haven't picked up Lilith in so long, but I do know it to be a lag and look brand. So I definitely will use the keyword lag and look with it. This is, it's huge. It's wool and I'm not going to unwrap it for you guys. <laughs> so you'll get the gist of it. This is an Eileen Fisher vest. Definitely an older Eileen Fisher piece, given that tag. Again, this was from that collection of clothing that I found in that bin. Nobody wanted all this stuff, but I did. So I got a lot of great stuff in my opinion. Another Eileen piece. I'm sure it was from this collection as well. Maybe. This is a size extra large and it's a lavender. Really pretty. Yeah, really pretty lavender knit sweater. We'll throw that there. This looks like it's made well, is it? Yes, it is. It's a <laughs> made well long sleeve tee with kind of a little bit of that puffed sleeve, which is kind of cute. And then, yeah, definitely a puff sleeve with the uh, fitted wrist, size medium, super cute. Next we have, oh, this is the brand Tibi, T-I-B-I. -I. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I'm not sure if that is an older style tag of theirs. It's a size six dress. It's kind of an interesting, fun dress. It's got all this draping that's kind of hard for you to see, but it's a really pretty nude color. And given that I think it's in good condition, I'll probably send that to the Real Real. It is a brand that they take from us. This is, you know what this is before I show you. It's Johnny Was. So I was super excited to see this. I haven't found Johnny Was in a long time. And it says Bia Johnny Was. And is this a collaboration or what is it? Because I feel like I've seen that B-I-Y-A tag before. This is a size large. Really love this one. Heavy embroidery on the top. And then just this really pretty print on the bottom. I'm guessing it's silk. We will definitely sell this. <laughs> okay. Next we have this dress. I don't know much about this brand. Azazi? I don't know, maybe I grabbed this to put in a box. Maybe we'll do that. It's new with tags. It looks like some sort of bridal dress. I don't know. I'm not sure if this will go in a box or if we're gonna keep it. I don't know. I kinda don't wanna deal with a long dress. <laughs> that to me looked like it was like a bridesmaid's dress. I'm gonna guess that that's probably what that brand is. Mm, okay, I'm gonna have to start sorting a little bit more in different directions because I know that this bag hasn't fully been washed. I say that because I wanna show you that's a two-piece item. This is a boys North Face jacket. I think it's a size, no, it's Marmot. Just kidding, it's a size small, six, seven. So I do need to toss this piece through the wash. Although it's in really good condition, I'm still, there's a little spot there. And I want it to be perfect. <laughs> or as close to perfect as I can. I can't believe nobody took these. these this is so fun. It's a pair of sweatpant joggers, whatever. Uh, and it's, you know, branded with the boys in the hood. So anyways, I will definitely wash this with my pair wall, which is the laundry add-in that I love to use, not sponsored. These are a size large and I was gonna say it's a waistband shot, but it actually has this drawstring to pull on there. So toss that over there. This is, what is it, Patagonia? No, this is Fry, I think. Yeah, it's Fry. And I think this is a men's shirt. It's a Fry size extra large men's shirt. I've never picked up any of their clothing before, but I just thought this was a nice piece. So yeah, this next brand is new to me and I guess it's a good one. Um, it's called, let me show you the first tag. <laughs> so it's called Herno, H-E-R-N-O. It's Herno and it's made in Italy. And then this tag says, it's a really nice tag. It says Herno Tech. Yeah, I think this is wool. This neckline is beyond, beyond, beyond soft. More soft than you can ever imagine. And it's a size, I'm not sure. I don't know where the sizing is on this thing, but it's just a really nice jacket. And I have no idea if it's women's or men's. I'm guessing it's a women's jacket. 
but it's absolutely lovely and I don't know that I can machine wash it. So we'll just clean it up as best as we can, lint roller, all that sort of stuff. But, oh wait, here's the tag. It says 50, which is no more helpful to me than when I started, because <laughs> it's an Italian size 50. What does it say for care instructions? I think it says I can't machine wash. Okay, I'm gonna set you there. I don't wanna throw it. <laughs> this is a Peter Millar shirt. It's a size large and it's a men's button down shirt. I'm trying to remember if I've sent this brand to the real real. More importantly, if they accepted it. I can't remember. Okay, this is super duper fun. Yeah, I love this jacket. So this is a kid's North Face jacket. It's a size large 14, 16. Look at this print. How fun is this? Now I do feel like given this print, it's probably a little more special, probably sells for a little bit more. So I'm excited to see what the comps are on this. If you are interested in it, feel free to reach out to me. I can run comps and see what I might be looking for, for it. Uh, this is definitely not gonna get sold because I am just one for cool items and keeping them. <laughs> but this is a vintage Walt Disney World jacket and it's some sort of like rain jacket or windbreaker. This is, yeah, too amazing. Whenever I see Disney pieces of the bins, they don't get listed. <laughs> I just keep them for me. I don't have sizing information on this, but I'm guessing it's probably like a medium. Such an awesome piece. I was so excited. Okay, this, okay, this is just a super cute, fun sweater. I think I'll probably throw this in a bins box. I may give it a wash or something because there's a little bit of hair on it, but it's a really fun, colorful Urban Outfitters sweater. Yeah, just really cute. Um, so a lot of times the pieces that I'm putting in there are items that I would probably take to the like uh, Play-Doh's Closet or Thread Up. So instead, I'm saving myself a trip and, you know, if anybody wants inventory, they can get it. But I'm gonna put that in my wash pile. Okay, this is another Eileen Fisher item. There's a lot of them, I think. <laughs> These are a pair of size 1X and I think they're linen pants. Oh, it's starting to get real dusty in here. Usually I have the stuff washed by now, but we'll throw that in a wash pile. Uh, this is just a vintage sweater. I don't even know what, what or where this is from, but how adorable is this with the flowers and that little bow right at the end of the V-neck there. There's like little <laughs> knit balls on here. <laughs> I don't know where this is from. If somebody handmade it, it's awesome. I'm definitely going to give that a wash. This one is, oh, I thought the tag was just funny in itself. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anxiety. So this is, I guess, a vintage top. The size, I have no idea because it's pretty much faded away. I'm going to guess a small or something like that. It's got this funny collar line here. It does button in the front. It's getting a wash, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the match. This is just a J. Crew pajama set that, you know, when do you ever find the top and the bottom? They're, and they're a size 2X. They're plus. How exciting is that? So anyways, gonna wash those and we will list them. Next is a Madewell t-shirt. This is a size extra large, which uh, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I was thinking I could throw it in a Ben's box, but dang it, man, these Madewell shirts every single time there's some holes on them. So that's okay. We'll sell it ourselves. My dog is here to join me. Let's, she hasn't been in a video in forever, but here she is. Look at this is my little girl. <laughs> So other, our other dog passed away um, a couple of years ago. I'm like, I'm not going to tear up. So we've just got her and she's extra special now. Um, but she always was. Anyways. Okay. Next shirt. Actually, I had somebody message me about this. So I need to get back to them. But this is just a fun t-shirt that I saw. And it's just a graphic t-shirt about teachers and how awesome they are. So going to watch that. Okay. Next item is a pair of Columbia pants. Yeah, nothing crazy special about these other than they're just great outdoorsy pants. We'll give these a wash. I think these are a size uh, 32, 32 men's. This could not have come at a better time. Now it's not anything special. It's just a champion jacket. It's a size extra large. It's purple. It's just an activewear jacket. However, I wanted one. <laughs> not this exact one, but I just wanted something like this. 
so I'm keeping that. Okay. Oh, you can see her little ball of fluff down here. Hi, how are you? Okay, this is just a really fun vintage sweater. The brand is Bell Dog Popper. It says hand wash cold, lay flat to dry. But look at this fun collar line. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's so cute. So yeah, we'll definitely keep that and list it. And then it's got these fun little pearl closure things there. Uh, next is, okay, this is Bizarre Christian LaCroix. Um, I guess it's nicer. <laughs> I think this is a good brand. It's a size large and it's wool. It's a wool blend. Look how fun this is. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I don't know if this is something I could send to the Real Real, but it's kind of so fun that I actually think I want to list it and put it in my store because maybe it'll get a little, little traction. This shirt is so fun. And apparently somebody told me the sign language is definitely different from everything else that's written on here. So it says you're not my type, but if you know sign language and you want to translate that for the rest of us, let us know. This is just another fun t-shirt that I picked up size medium. This is a vintage sweatshirt. It's size extra large and it's Sorry, my phone, I got a low battery notification. For the loom, size extra large. And I don't even know what it is. The perfect wave. Oh, you know what? I kind of thought about maybe sending this to my brother because he likes surfing. I need to clean that up first. I mean, his birthday's in a couple months. Maybe I could just gift it to him. <laughs> there you go. Who doesn't want a cool vintage sweatshirt? Uh, these are Columbia size 32 long. I'm guessing they're men's. Again, more men's Columbia pants. These are, okay, what are you? True Religion Becca Mid-Rise Boot Cut size 26 jeans that are, I'm just checking condition. So there's a little something here. Yeah, it's going to come off. I'm going to wash them. Oh, darn it. And then there's some discoloration here. I was going to say I'll put them in a bins box, but... If that comes out, it'll be in there. If it doesn't come out, it won't be in there. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Mm, oh, okay, yeah, this dress. I was shocked. Okay, it's white. It's it's white. And I'm like, are you still white everywhere? Okay, so there is some discoloration here. I don't know if that could come out. Do you see that? It's like a little bit, but it's just this white, beautiful gown. And it's Jill Stewart. So I don't know if that's an older tag, Jill Stewart. It kind of looks a little bit older. It's a size four. I'm not gonna dry clean this or do anything. I mean, I could try and wash it. Oof, I don't wanna make it worse though. So <laughs> vote below. I'll probably have already taken action, but okay, this is real cute. Size extra large, um, but just look at this dress. It's so cute. I don't know if it's a girl's or a women's. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we'll list that. Uh, next is, oh, this is just an REI jacket. It's a women's large. I swear I've had this jacket before. What I look for with these types of jackets, um, who else has these? North Face, they do these linings in here and you wanna make sure that the liner in here is not cracked anywhere. And <laughs> when I was at the bins, I didn't see any cracking in here, which is great. Um, but it, it frequently happens with some of these outdoorsy brand jackets. So just make sure you don't take anything home that, yeah. Okay, this is, I don't know if it's, a, it's not vintage vintage cause it's not like a single stitch, but anyways, it's just this real fun female empowerment t-shirt. It said, I would have girls regard, I would have girls regard themselves not as adjectives, but as nouns. And it's a quote from Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wash it. Okay, wash pile. Okay, next, I think I thought about keeping this for my son, just because it's his size. It's in minty condition. It's just this Michael Jordan t-shirt. I don't know. That's Michael Jordan, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is a pair of J brand jeans. And I actually, if they're in good condition, I may send these to the real real. Yeah, they're in good condition. It's a brand that they take, so. And my dog left. 
Okay, this is fun. I'm keeping this for myself. It's a vintage tee. It's um, jerseys is a brand size, extra large. Um, but if you're from Seattle, Washington, this is just, it says Seattle, Seattle's since 1950, Northgate Mall. Yeah, I don't know what this, I don't get it because none of this is the mall, <laughs> which Northgate Mall is one of the, I think, first outdoor malls that was in the United States. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, uh, yeah, it must have just been something that they sold at the mall. I don't know. It seems weird, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> These are a pair of men's Lululemon jogger pants, something. Uh, there's like the size bars. I don't know how it works for the men. For the women, it goes like four, six, eight. You can see the little Lululemon logo is on here. But yeah, I don't know. What's the sizing like for men's? Anybody know? Chime in. Okay, these are a pair of page jeans, size 26. And again, they're in pretty good condition. I could maybe, I don't know if they take page at the real real. Hmm, I don't know. I do not know, guys. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm kind of like, maybe I'll throw them in a bins box. Mm, they do have distressing, you have to know that. So I'll wash these first though. All right. Next is a new tag piece. This is Tommy Bahama. Oh, originally $125, size medium. And I think it's a swim dress, which is perfect for the season. It's got these fun nautical colors on them, which is great. And next, these are a pair of universal thread jeans. Why did I grab these? Because they're my size. <laughs> I think I grabbed these because they're my size. I'm gonna wash those and then I'm gonna wear them. Okay, this is, oh, I'm gonna throw this in a bins box also. I don't know what this brand is. I think it's a scrubs company and scrubs can sell pretty well. So this is Motion by Barco and it's a size 2XL and it is new with tags. So I'll throw that in a box. These are Gap boxers. I don't know, I just grabbed them. Is it just one pair? Okay, size large. <laughs> this is, I think, a, no, what is this? Oh, it's some sort of kid's brand. It's Lauren Celeste. So it's new with tags. And it's just this cute little two-piece set. It just kind of looked like something a bougie baby would wear. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a good brand. Let me know if you've ever heard of that brand. Ooh, there's so much stuff here, guys. <laughs> Okay, next is a Tommy Hilfiger, new with tag, size extra large, pullover? I think that's a men's. And then we have a Gap, new with tags, denim halter dress. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, new with tags, size eight, originally $48. I'll put this in a bins box too. Bam. Okay, next we have some leggings. Oh, these were just cute. I think I just liked them because they were cute. They're a gap fit and they're a size large tall. And I was gonna put this in a bins box. Also, I'm just checking to make sure they look good. I think they look good. This is a jacket of some type. Oh, Zella, it's a size extra small pullover, like windbreaker, but it's kind of, it's got this like perforation all throughout. I'm gonna give that a wash. Okay, next we have a bra. This is a women's bra of some sort. I don't know what brand it is. Comfort Flex Fit Smooth Tag. Oh, it's Hanes. I'm gonna toss this in a bins box also. It's wireless. Wireless, that sounds funny. Wire free, that sounds better. <laughs> this is a sweater and I don't know what brand it is. Wait, Chimera? Oh, I've gotten this in liquidation before. I feel like it's a good brand. I'm going to wash it because it looks a little like it needs a wash. <laughs> this is, I think, okay, free people, pink, some sort of top. It's inside out, but you guys get the point. <laughs> it's ribbed. It's cute. We're going to list it. Okay. What else? This looks like Hannah Anderson, if I had to guess. Yes, it is. It's a Hannah, Hannah Anderson dress. It's a size four. And yeah, super cute with pockets. Give that a wash. Um, that's not anything. <laughs> it's for a friend. Oh, this, it's a hat that randomly got in here. Actually, I 
think I was thinking about soaking it or something because there's some discoloration here, but the brand is Outdoor Research, which is right there. It's actually a really nice brand and I think it gets slept on a lot because people don't know about it. I picked that. I learned about it from a haul that I did a couple of years ago for my brother of some consignment items. I've done a few of those. So if you want to learn some good men's brands from a somebody who buys expensive men's clothing, which is my brother. Um, go check out those videos. Uh, but anyway, so this is one of the brands that I learned. One size fits all, so I'm gonna need to wash that or something. This is, I think, oh, a pair of Victoria's Secret pink leggings. Oh, I thought that, they're inside out. Let's see what they look like. These are cute. Oh, okay, got it. So these are regional. They're for the hogs. I don't know who the hogs are. <laughs> we don't, I don't know if we have any hogs in our state, <laughs> but I'll wash these. It's, you know, their collegiate line. So yeah, this is the brand Anya. So there's what the tag looks like. And I'm not sure what size these are. Oh, these are a medium and they're swim bottoms, I think. Super cute. That's what they look like. We'll toss that over there. And then this, is a pair of shorts, new in package, size extra large. I'm pretty sure this is from Costco and the brand is Briggs. I will throw that into one of the boxes. Okay. Dipping out the frame. This is a pair of Lululemon's men's shorts. They're a size 40 and that's what they look like. Nothing crazy special. Um, we'll sell those, toss that there. I had a nice folded pile here, but it's not so nice anymore. These are a pair of Patagonia women's shorts, size medium. I don't know if they're sleep shorts, but they're real cute and they're in great condition. This is the brand Viore. So this is another brand that I learned from my brother doing <laughs> all of his stuff. And these are size medium, uh, but I think these ones are women's and they always sold super quick. Every time I have sold Viore, if that's how you pronounce it, sold very quickly. This is the brand Postmark, sold at Anthropology, and I think it's a jumpsuit. It's really pretty and I love the coloring on this. This is a size extra small. How do I, there we go, whatever. Uh, this is a, just another fun graphic sweatshirt that I grabbed. I think this is a women's size medium. It says early mornings, long runs, strong coffee. There's that, I think there's another one in here as well. This is a Lululemon tank, women's tank, and it's got the built-in shelf bra. I never know the style in these, but my virtual assistant is always really great about finding all of the style information. I was trying to see if there was a size tag in here. Usually they're kept in somewhere in the, um, what's it called? Where the, the bra pads will go. I can't find this one though. Sometimes on the inside trim, of here, but I don't see one. So we'll search more later. This is a kid's Hannah Anderson dress. It's a size 90. So I don't know what that converts to, but I'm guessing it's probably under three years old. And next, this is really cute, whatever this is. This is a tank top and it's the brand Hoity Toity, which I thought I maybe remembered was good but now I can't remember off the top of my head. That's what the tag looks like. So if you're curious, that is what the tag looks like. This, I, okay, I bought this cause I just loved the colors. It's a J. Crew t-shirt. It's a size medium, but look at how they do the stripes. They change on the sleeve. I just thought they were really fun or this is a really fun shirt. So I grabbed it. I don't know that it's gonna have the best return on investment, but you know, that's okay. Uh, this one says love, hard, dream, big, take, chances run <laughs> does this say run like hell <laughs> so again i think this is a women's something medium it says something design studio so i don't know maybe this is like an etsy thing or something they're just fun fun graphic sweatshirts that i thought i will sell these this is an eileen fisher woman size 1x t-shirt it feels like it's a linen blend and it is um, black. So I believe I washed this with that pear wall stuff again, cause I was going to say that color looks really nice. This is, um, I think, what are they? Nike? I think this is Nike. 
gosh, what are they? No, they're not. They're Lululemon. <laughs> they're Lululemon women's leggings, and they've had this fun little ruffle trim on here. And I'm trying to find the size, which now I'm realizing they're Lululemon. It's going to be in this back secret pocket. These are a size six. This is uh, a logo by Lori Goldstein tank. And you know what? Maybe I'll put this in a bo bins box too. This is really cute. Um, what I love about their pieces is that they're kind of layering type pieces, um, usually like tanks or cardigans, stuff like that. Or those are the pieces I'm familiar with, but I really like this. The color is really pretty. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is how you know I washed all of these dark items together with the pear wall, because they're right here. And they're all this really nice, rich color. Look how dark, I mean, with the exception of that, I don't know what that is. Um, look how pretty they are. So anyways, this is a pair of Prana leggings. I'm not sure what size they are, because it's kind of faded in there. If I'd guess, they look like an extra small. We will set these here to the side. This is, I swear, picked this up recently. Aloe, this brand Aloe. <laughs> this is the second one of these I've grabbed recently, <laughs> but an Aloe sweatshirt. I'm guessing that's like a small or medium. Next, we have some sort of t-shirt. Oh, this is that Rip and Dip, which I found so much of recently. Don't know who those dudes are, but this is a men's t-shirt, I'm guessing. Probably a medium. What are you? Oh, this is a Torrid size zero sweater. So you can wash that parallel stuff with items that have, col you know, different coloring on there and it doesn't affect them. It doesn't dye them. Nothing like that. Uh, there is some pilling on here, so I will take my shaver and depill that. But I just thought that that little graphic print was cute. And by, you know, cute, I mean, it's a skull. <laughs> this is an intimately free people dress. What are you? I didn't even know. I just saw the tag when I was at the outlet and I was like, yep. Yeah, this is pretty. Some sort of dress of some type. Maybe it's lingerie. I don't know, because it's intimately free people. Uh, Lululemon jacket. So again, this is again why I love this product because now that I have it further away, you can kind of see the coloring a little bit better. This stuff is just, it gets so faded over time from wear. I really wish they were paying me for this, you guys. <laughs> I just love it. The product's a little pricey, so I'd love free product. That would be great enough. Um, I'm not going to search for the size dot because we all know it's either in there or it's not in there. This is, this was getting passed up because I don't think people were, oh no, it's not that one. I'm thinking of a different item. There was an Everlane item that kept getting passed up. Uh, this is just a Nike, uh, Nike size large. I think a men's, but maybe a women's. Could be a, mm, I don't know. The asymmetrical zip is kind of throwing me off. That could be a women's. Uh, these are overalls and I think they are, yeah, they're torrid. And again, washed them and got this nice coloring back. I don't know what size they are. Email me. This is a men's cycling jersey shirt. I don't know what they call them but I don't know what size it is, but it's S-U-G-O-I. So I did comp it at the bins and it looked to be a good brand. Some of these brands sell really well. I showed recently in a haul, the brand Rapha, R-A-P-H-A. -A. That one sells really well. Kulabura by Ugg. This is a diffusion line of theirs and this is just an open front cardigan, but it's really nice. And I might take that little comb to it because again, I mentioned that that teddy bear kind of um, material takes really well to it. My dog's trying to get up here, so I'm trying to make a path. Look, you can come up this way. Okay, this is the brand, I don't know. Oh, North Face. <laughs> this is a kid's puffer. It's a size 10 and it's in good condition. So there's that. This is the brand Lafayette 148 and it's just a plaid women's button down shirt. So that will go to the real real because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> when I say I don't want to deal with it, it's mostly we've just got a lot of inventory. And so this helps me expedite the things uh, that I've picked up. Uh, so this again was in that big bin of the mature brands. Uh, this is the brand Susan Fixell. And a lot of the pieces that I found in there were a lot of lag and look brands. So I think that this is probably one as well. It really didn't hold back. And I really took most of the pieces 
that were left. These were all the picked over bins too, guys. <laughs> People don't want this stuff. I don't get it, but that's okay. Um, and they were about to take these away. And you know, what the outlet says is that once it goes on the floor, it, it doesn't make a reappearance. They don't put stuff back out later in the day. You know, they, they say they're not recycling product to put on the floor. So anyways, um, I took all the lag and look brands cause it just, they do well for me. And so I'm happy to sell them. This is the brand Seraphine, and I feel like, do they do maternity stuff? Mm. In, my, in my experience, I thought they did. This is a size US 4, just a real cute striped dress. She's back. <laughs> uh, this is an REI Kids one piece again. This is a Tots size six months, super cute. <laughs> this, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, this is a Ralph Lauren size six months little gingham dress for a baby. Oh my gosh, so cute. Had to get that. This is a Boss Hugo Boss polo shirt. So again, I'd love to send this to the Real Real and maybe I'll try, but they don't take it from me. Have you had luck with that brand? Please engage with me and let me know. <laughs> Uh, Effie's heart. I, you know, it's like I found one of their skirts and said I never find them anymore. And I think that's my third one now. So I wish that upon myself. This is a Free People with a Free Waffle Knit Henley size medium. That's the back. <laughs> and it's inside out too. <laughs> but you get it. Um, so some of these Waffle Knit or Thermal ones will have some pretty ornate sleeves. This one doesn't. But the more ornate the sleeve is, it might be worth a little bit more money. So definitely check that before you just blindly list it. Um, next one I have is another of that brand, Susan Fixel. So that it was probably the bottom and this is probably the top. So I'll sell them as a set and I'll definitely put in lag and look as a search term because it is the aesthetic. This was kind of fun. This is like an OG uh, original Nordstrom like windbreaker, but look at the logo. Who remembers that one? This is a size medium. And it's just super lightweight. This reminds me of something my, my grandma would have worn. <laughs> so vintage. Um, what else do we have in here? Mm, okay. We've got some sort of button down shirt here. I think this is vintage. Oh yeah, it is. This is a vintage denim button down shirt and it's from the War WB store, Warner Brothers store. Yes. Yeah, it's a size medium and it says they don't call me grand poop off for nothing. <laughs> so it's embroidered. I thought this was so cool and I couldn't believe that people had left this behind. Again, that was in a picked over bin. Who doesn't want vintage WB? Do you guys remember the WB store? I remember it. Uh, this is a Disney baby size nine to 12 months. I don't know why I grabbed it other than I just thought it was cool. I don't know if that's like a vintage or an older tag for Disney, but it's obviously the Lion King. So I don't know. It could be a current piece from Walmart for all I know. This is a Bowdoin dress, love their dresses. This one's a size six petite and it's got pockets in the front, really beautiful style and coloring. Uh, what else do I have in here? This is a, some sort of outdoorsy brand. Oh, one of my favorite. The brand Smartwool, uh, pullover, no, t-shirt. Burnout material, nonetheless. That's a women's, definitely excited to sell that. Smartwool does good for me, so that's great. This is the brand, I'm kind of sad because I might have to just check these. These are a pair of Marmot um, lightweight outdoors pants. These are size large, but they're doing that thing that I was telling you about that um, the North Face jackets can do, which is the liner is starting to crumble. So I can still sell it, but I'm definitely gonna have to note that and it's already crumbling on me. So I feel like we're at the beginning stages of going downhill. <laughs> So that's not great. Uh, this is a Lulu's dress, no, jumpsuit, and it is missing the belt, which is right here. <laughs> and maybe since we have the belt, maybe I'll go ahead and I'll put this in one of my bins boxes. I was sad because I didn't think we had the belt, but we do. And again, I'm reaching a pile of items that are all black, which means this is stuff that I just washed with the pear wall. Um, so I am going to probably cut this haul and continue at a later point because 
I'm going on over an hour right now and I think I might be losing my gusto. Uh, but I'll show you this one last brand, which is a good one I'd never heard of. I looked it up and that's when I saw that it was uh, an interesting one, but it's called Miss Candy Floss and it's a plus size line. And this is a size three XL. It is a jumpsuit. It's really fun. It was in great condition at the outlet. Um, I'm super excited to get it listed and see what it sells for. But yeah, it's a new to me one. Have you guys ever heard of it before? Oh, it zips up there. There we go. That's pretty. That's actually really pretty. I wish it was my size. So anyways, that is my haul. I'm going to continue this at a later time. But I do think that we got through about 100 pounds off the top of my head. So we must have buy about a 50. <laughs> but we'll continue my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.